What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. If you're new to the channel, then hi, my name is Nasser and I am a doctor. I am, I am a doctor, Dr. Nasser Karma. I'm about to graduate from King's College London here in the UK. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about quite a lot of things, primarily about reaching this amazing milestone of 1 million subscribers, which is absolutely unreal. Kind of how we got here, what this achievement means to me and you know the wider impact of this channel. And then also I wanna talk a little bit about the behind the scenes of being a YouTuber and making all this content whilst being in medical school and why I'm probably gonna take a little bit of a step back from YouTube moving forward. Forward. And I know what you're thinking, Nasser, no, don't take a step back from YouTube, but bear with me. This is a long video. I've got a lot of talking and explaining to do. So sit back, relax, grab some snacks, and let's just get into it. So first things first, we hit 1 million subscribers. Let me, let me get this back. 1 million subscribers on the 20th of May. 2022 and today is the 20th of june or the 21st of june so look how big this thing is man oh my god so today is the 20th of june so it's been about a month uh since we've hit a million subscribers and i just received this plaque yesterday i've got it in my hands and it like for the first time it feels real i'm like holding it this is a representation of all the effort and work that has gone into this channel and kind of just a physical object that represents this amazing and incredible, incredible achievement. When I first hit a million, me and my sister were in this room watching the countdown on the monitor behind me. And there's this wonderful video of, you know, it reaching a million and us jumping up and down with excitement. <laughs> And it honestly felt so, so surreal at the time. After that, my friends here in the UK got me this surprise 1 million cake on a random night out, which was really, really wonderful um, and kind of made me appreciate, you know, how much everyone around me is happy for me and proud of me for this achievement. Happy one million to you. And then later on in Jordan, we had another big celebration with a lot of my friends and it just filled my heart up so much. Honestly, made me so so warm and fuzzy inside and just just happy to, to have everyone celebrate this with me all of you watching have been sending me such wonderful dms on instagram leaving such wonderful comments on my videos here congratulating me and us for reaching a million subscribers i feel like i'm just bathing and basking in all of this love and attention from absolutely everyone around me and i couldn't be more thankful to all of you watching this video who have supported me every single week over the last 218 weeks of uploading weekly content to this youtube channel i just need to say the biggest biggest Thank you. It's been four years, three months, and 13 days of uploading content every single week. And I can honestly count on two hands the number of negative comments that I've had over that entire time period, which is absolutely insane. You've all been so supportive of me trying out different types of content over the years. You know, you've really given me the creative freedom to just make videos about what I want, when I want, and shown me support throughout no matter what. And truly, I really appreciate that. It's given me a sense of freedom unlike anything else. This YouTube channel has changed my life in many, many different ways and has opened doors for me that would otherwise never never have been accessible and for that I'm forever grateful. As cheesy as it is, I simply could not have done this without you and I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you so much. You know, this, this celebration is for me but it's also for all of you watching, so thank you. So let's talk about this sense of relief. Basically, about a year ago when I was at about, I think like six, seven hundred thousand subscribers, I started realizing that if I just kept continuing uploading videos and doing what it is that I'm doing, at some point I would eventually reach a million. And once that kind of entered my head, I couldn't get rid of that idea. And I started to realize that I might actually hit a million subscribers before I graduate from medical school, which would give me the title of first medical student with a million subscribers, which I think I currently have, but if I don't, no one tell me, just let me enjoy this for a little bit. I'm gonna graduate in a, <laughs> in a couple of weeks, so let me just enjoy this for a little bit. Ever since about a year ago when this idea entered my head, 
it's been a huge motivator to keep me going and grinding, uploading videos every single week whilst being a full-time medical student in my final year of medical school. You know, as a creator, we tend to focus a lot on the numbers, the views, the retention rate, the subscribers, the watch time, whatever. And focusing on these numbers can actually have a really significant effect on your mood. As sad as it is, as a content creator, these numbers drive a lot of your feeling about how your content is doing, how your channel is doing, etc. And so this can come with extreme highs when things are going well, and they can also come with lows when things are not. Now, generally speaking, I always feel like I've had a good relationship with the numbers, trying not to pay too much attention to them or let them drive my mood, but that obviously hasn't always been the case. And particularly over the last year, because we were so close to this milestone, it was something that I just could not get off my head. And it was something that I was thinking about constantly. How much are we growing every day? How close are we? When is it going to happen? Etc. Etc. When we hit 750,000 subscribers, I was like, oh my God, okay, 250,000 left. And then at 800,000, I was like 200,000 left. And then 900,000, then 50,000, you know, it was just constantly, it was never enough. Whatever milestone was achieved, there was always more. We were continuously chasing this magical number of a million subscribers for really no reason, just besides the fact that it's this big cool number that comes along with a massive gold plaque. And then the day that I reached a million subscribers, I just had this huge, huge sense of relief, this weight lifted off my shoulders, where I could say to myself, Nasser, the numbers just don't matter anymore. I've currently reached the biggest milestone I could ever possibly imagine having reached. And there's just nothing above this that I want that I could ever reach. I'm I'm done. I don't want 1.1 million subscribers. I don't want 1.5. I don't want two. I don't want five. I don't want 10. I am so happy and so content with reaching a million subscribers. There is nothing more than I want. And that feeling of being able to sort of release myself from the numbers, release myself from having a goal of growth and a place that I'm trying to reach but haven't been getting to for so long has just been so, so wonderful. And so after four and a half years of working day in, day out, constantly being focused on growth and how can we reach new people and how can we help the most people and how can we make good videos and this, this and that, I finally feel this sense of relief where I can tell myself, you know what, just, just relax, man. Like, you're good, you've made it. All right, let's take a moment to talk about the impact that this YouTube channel has had. Now, the reach and the impact, I think, has been really, really hard for me to wrap my head around. And had it not been for all of my friends, you know, constantly saying this stuff to me and for me now reaching a million subscribers and had some time to kind of reflect on what this YouTube channel has been able to do, I don't think I would be able to really wrap my head around it and I still can't, but that's partly why I want to talk about this so that I can understand it and, you know, reflect on it and see, see what impact this channel has had. So let's start with people who I don't know, people who I don't have a direct relationship or contact with. So this includes a lot of you guys who are probably watching this video right now. A lot of the comments that I get on YouTube, on Instagram, on Twitter, etc. And it's just mind boggling some of the comments that I receive, you know, people telling me that they've applied to medical school because of me and my videos, that they've been able to improve their studying techniques, do well on their exams and succeed in university because of my videos, that they weren't sure about entering the medical field or profession, but my videos have motivated them or given them, you know, some sort of reason to want to pursue that. Or even the messages where people are telling me that they were in a really dark part of their life or in a slump in in their life and you know watching my videos has helped them kind of get out of that and I think it's pretty much impossible to kind of realize the impact that any of my videos might have had on any one individual person because what we kind of see is the overall numbers the overall view count the overall you know growth and success of the YouTube channel but it's hard to sort of focus on any one individual and the strange thing is you know for the YouTubers that I watch the people that I look up to I, I know how much of an impact that they've had on me I know what changes I've made in my life because of them but it's hard for me to think that someone else might do the same because of videos that they watched that, that are the ones that I made. For me to think that I've had a positive impact on somebody watching these videos from across the world, from you know somewhere completely different than me who I've never met, is just absolutely insane. And even when I travel abroad and people come up to me and recognize me on the street, like in Paris, you know, in Jordan, in Greece, wherever it is that I am, and they come up to me and they're like, hey, are you Karma Medic? Or I watch your videos or something like that. <laughs> you know, I'm always like, really like you, you, you watch my videos, which is absolutely crazy to think about because first of all, someone who watches my videos needs to be in the same geographical location as me. Then they have to actually realize or recognize me that I'm there. Then they have to care enough about my videos or about me to walk up to me and want to introduce themselves and say, hi, 
And all those things happening together at the same time, I feel like there's such a slim chance of that happening, yet it keeps happening over and over again. And even here in the UK, whenever I go out and I'm just walking around and having fun in London. And you know, if if I saw one of the YouTubers that I watched on the street, I would, I would be like, oh my God, I would walk up to them and say, you know, hi, my name is Nasser. I'm a really big fan of your videos. I really enjoy the content you make, blah, 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 blah. But I just can't wrap my head around somebody else wanting to do that to me because I'm just, I'm Nasser. I'm, I'm the, the Nasser that I've always known. I'm not some YouTuber who people look up to or want to like meet in real life. And I'll get messages from my friends here in uni who say that their cousin or their mom or their sister watches my videos and they find them useful and they like them and things like that. And I'm, and I just think to myself like, wow, there's so many connections that these videos have reached. They've sort of reached and permeated so far into so many different people's lives. And it's an amazing thing that I haven't really sat down to think about and truly process because whenever people say this to me, I kind of brush it off as, okay, fine, like cool, but I, I haven't really thought about what that means. And um, to kind of realize and soak in the impact that the videos have had and how far they've reached is really, really amazing. And then second is the sort of recognition that I get from people who are closer to home. So people who I have a direct contact with, you know, friends and family. And even at some point, the YouTube creators app or something shouted me out on Twitter, like me shouted out my videos on Twitter, the official YouTube account, like that's crazy. And in the hospital, I've had surgeons, doctors, nurses, physiotherapists, healthcare assistants, you know, all kinds of people come up to me and say, are you karma medic? I watch your videos. I really like them, blah, 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 blah. blah. And I'm just like, what? what is going on here? You know, these videos that I make in my room by myself, there's literally nobody here has somehow reached so many people who I then go on to interact with in real life. And a lot of these people telling me that they're proud of me and that I'm doing something meaningful or valuable for other people is, um, is just a, it's a really humbling experience. And it's really, um, I honestly, I don't know how to describe it, but it's just, it's, it's, it's humbling. It's really, it's, I know how highly I think of my friends in my closer circles and you know, for them to say something so meaningful to me, for me, is just a, a really amazing feeling. All of this to say that despite me kind of not thinking about it and just brushing it off all of these years, I, I feel like I can finally sit here and say that yes, my videos have had an impact. And you know, ever since I was in high school when I was trying to decide what I wanted to do with my life, what I wanted to study in university and what I wanted to be when I grow up, um, you know, the the only real thing that I wanted to do was just have a positive impact on other people. And at the time, I couldn't think of a better possible way to do that than being a doctor. You know, what else could you do that would be so amazing and be able to impact other people's lives in such a meaningful and positive way, which is a really big reason for why I applied to medical school in the first place. And now to think that I've already had that positive impact and that wide and important, valuable impact before I even start work as a doctor, is just amazing. It kind of feels like my whole life up until this point has been the prequel and I'm now just about to start the main story. I don't know how to say this without coming across as arrogant or full of myself or whatever, but to be honest, it's the truth and I just want to say it. And it's that I'm, I'm so proud of what this YouTube channel has achieved. I'm so happy, I'm so content with what I've been able to do through making these videos on the internet. And I'm forever grateful for you guys watching and your support continuously throughout over this period of time that has given me this platform to be able to do something like this. And I feel like in four and a half years, I haven't allowed myself to feel this pride or to feel this joy and this happiness because I was constantly on that hamster wheel of just keep going, just keep going one video a week. Let's move on to the next video. Let's move on to the next thing. Just keep going, just keep going. But I haven't really had the time to sit down and think about it and kind of take this all in. And to sit here now and reflect over the last four and a half years of being a full-time medical student and just working on these videos in every spare second of free time that I had, and to sit here and to say that all of that effort and sacrifice and hard work was absolutely worth it, just makes me so, so happy inside. I'm so proud of this YouTube channel and every person that it's been able to reach and hopefully help in any way, shape or form. I'm, I'm really proud of it. So again, thank you all so much for giving me the opportunity to have a platform like this, to give me the honor of being able to help so many people's lives and impact so many people in this way. I'm, I'm forever grateful. Now for this second part of the video, I kind of want to talk about 
why I'm taking this decision to take a bit of a step back from YouTube, how it is that I got here, um, both physically and with my own thoughts, why I've arrived at this conclusion, um, and kind of, I wanna, I wanna take you through the behind the scenes of having this YouTube channel and what it's been like for me. I think, I think we need to start by looking back at when I first started this YouTube channel back in 2018. So back when I started the channel, and I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. Every single week, there was a one week turnaround time where on uh, Thursday, I would think of a video idea, start scripting it on like Friday, Saturday, maybe film on Sunday, Monday, something like that, and then edit, 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 edit as much as I could in all of my free time up until Thursday at 8.30 in the morning when I'd hit publish, and then that cycle would rinse and repeat. Now at this time, I had this huge creative fire just burning under me, you know, making me go, 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 think of all these videos, make them, film them, come up with new editing techniques, cinematic filming and B-roll, hyperlapses, you know, things that I was just so excited about learning and doing. And, um, you know, I look back at that period as one of the best of my life. I was finding out about this new hobby, enjoying every single second of it, still working a full-time job doing research uh, in the summer, but just grinding, 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 making these YouTube videos. Quite honestly, it just, it completely consumed me and I enjoyed every single second of it. The thrill of putting out a new video, a new piece of content week after week was just amazing. But somewhere over the last four and a half years, making these videos has kind of moved from a creative passion project each and every week to something of a formula, kind of like a factory production line, something that I could rinse and repeat over and over again. And this is what I want to explore in the next part of the video. So I think at the beginning of my fourth year of medical school, this would be late 2020, things started to change for me. Over the summer, I had just finished studying for the USMLE Step 1, studying about eight to 10 hours a day for five months in a row. I was completely burned out by that time. On top of that, suddenly in medical school, we were expected to be in the hospital for more hours per day, more days per week. And the amount of commitments and studying and exams that we had was kind of ramping up. Their importance was definitely ramping up. Now with all of this additional time pressure in my life, I wouldn't say that the creative passion fire thing was starting to die down, but it was more that I had so much, so many other time commitments in my life that it was kind of suppressing that fire to keep going with this analogy. And so I was starting to feel more and more constrained and feeling like I couldn't spend the amount of time that I wanted to in making each of these videos every single week. And as much as I wanted to for a creative hobby that I had, something I did entirely for fun. I think the thing that a lot of people who watch YouTube videos don't necessarily understand or know about is that, you know, running a YouTube channel is a serious amount of work. There's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes besides, you know, sitting down like this, just hitting record and talking to the camera. There's all kinds of thought and planning that goes into making a video. There's refining your script, re-refining your script over and over again, sitting down to film, taking multiple takes of the same thing over and over. And then of course the editing process can be extremely, extremely lengthy. And that's just the content creation part. There's also, you know, building your brand online, your public image, keeping up to date with your social media, responding to comments and uh, interacting with your audience, thinking about other products, projects you want to do, like selling your notes, creating a product, making merch. There's a lot, a lot of things going on. Now, if you're a full-time YouTuber and you do these things from nine to five, five or six days a week, I think they're more than manageable. But because I was a full-time medical student and because my main goal in life is to become a doctor and a good doctor, you know, a lot of my priority and my focus was going to medical school and rightfully so, which meant that in every single second of spare time that I had, I was working on this YouTube channel. Now, don't get me wrong. I absolutely loved every single second of that hustle and grind working on this YouTube channel outside of medical school. And you know, part of the reason that I was able to do this for so long is because I've enjoyed it thoroughly throughout. No one was holding a gun to my head and telling me to script YouTube videos on the tube or on the bus in the morning on the way to the hospital, or when I get back home here after a long day of placement, you know, I was working on YouTube and making these videos because I really enjoyed the process. I loved doing it and I still love doing it. So please don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining about the process. I'm just sort of saying what my day-to-day -day schedule kind of looked like. So anyways, come fourth year of medical school, I started realizing that I just simply don't have as much time as I used to to make these YouTube videos and I don't have enough time to keep up with a weekly posting schedule. And so it was around this time that we started working with an editor to help edit these YouTube videos, which was probably the best decision that we ever made. This allowed me to have a lot more free time per week to focus on medical school, but also to think more about the videos that I was making, the scripts of them, have more time to film them. And then I could actually enjoy my life more as well outside of that, you know, do all my social activities, my sports and exercise, my extracurriculars, all that stuff 
because suddenly I had a bunch of time that was freed up. And Kevin, the editor who I still work with till today, he's been absolutely amazing. I finished filming the video, I sent him over the files, he does the first edit to about 80 or 90% completion, and then I finish off the edit myself and hit post. We're running out of battery, let me do a quick battery change. Now having an editor meant that I could keep up with my weekly upload schedule, whether I was on vacation, whether I was in the middle of final exam season in medical school, whether it was just a normal week that had gotten really busy due to life admin or whatever. Having an editor helped me keep up with that schedule. No matter what was going on, you were gonna get a video at Thursday at 8.30 in the morning. Even in my final year of medical school with you know some of the most stress I've ever been in in my life, I was still able to put out a video every single week. And this was largely because of the help that was around me. Even though having an editor was an amazing help to my video making process, there was still a stupid amount of work that needed to happen behind the scenes. A lot of input from me that was still needed regularly every single week, most days of the week in order to make the schedule happen. Now this was all for fourth year of medical school and then fifth year of medical school hit. If you're new to the channel, then hi, my name is Nasser and I'm now a final year medical student studying at King's College London. And suddenly my responsibilities in medical school again jumped up we had more days in the hospital, more things to do, more responsibility. And on top of that, an endless barrage of exams and job applications and all kinds of administrative stuff that we needed to get done. And so again, I found myself in a position where I was running out of time to be able to do this creative hobby that I loved so much and that I wanted to spend ever more time on. And so we made the decision to hire another person, this time to help with the script writing and the research process of making the video. Now this was again, very, very helpful. It took yet another chunk of time out of my hands and onto someone else. And Alina, the script writer, she's been absolutely amazing. Big shout out to her. And together as a team with the script writer and the editor, we've been able to make some really great content and put out those videos every single week throughout my entire time at medical school, which is really, really amazing. Now having these two people working with me meant that I could actually be a full-time medical student, attend the gym and exercise, do all of my social and fun events, my extracurriculars, and just also have fun and live a normal life. I think in my final years of medical school, if I was trying to do everything by myself, it would have been too much and there's no way I would have been able to keep up with that weekly upload schedule. Now having these team members on board was incredibly helpful for me to continue making content and putting it out every single week. What it really changed for me and the sort of negative impact of having people help with the videos is that it took away from that creative passionate fire project thing that I had going every single week when I first started this YouTube channel. Suddenly I found myself in a position where, you know, before it was me being involved in every little detail of the video making process from start to finish. Suddenly I found myself following a formula, kind of, you know, like a factory production line. Videos getting scripted, I film the video, video gets edited, I upload the video, rinse and repeat. So that brings us to where we are today, where over the last couple of months, I've kind of felt like I'm just following this formula of making videos once a week and I'm uploading videos and making videos because I told myself and I promised myself four and a half years ago on the day that I posted my first video that I was going to make a video every single week. Instead of having this creative, passionate fire burning underneath me, driving me to make that video every single week. I've just kept on telling myself, you know, all right, Nasser, another week, another video, keep going, just keep making videos. We're almost at a million subscribers. Just keep going, just keep going, just keep going. Truth be told, I feel like I've been on autopilot for a little while now, just grinding, 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 hustling, 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 doing my medical school and everything I need to do in my life and making sure that these YouTube videos happen once a week, going, 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 going. And you know, this kind of factory line production of videos is, is not what I want to be doing. This is not why I started this YouTube channel. I started this YouTube channel because I loved making videos and I wanted to help other people and I just found everything really, really fun. And this kind of production line of making videos and pumping out content every single week, just for the sake of pumping out content is not what I want to be doing. This YouTube channel is a fun, creative hobby. You know, it's not my primary source of income and it's not my future life goal of becoming a YouTuber. I wanna be a doctor and I wanna be a really good doctor. And this YouTube channel is a fun, creative project for me. It's a way for me to creatively express myself and have fun. And that's what I want it to be. I don't want it to be a second job on top of my primary job of being a doctor, just pumping out content for the sake of pumping out content. I want to make videos that I'm really excited about, that I'm really happy about, that I put a lot of time and effort into. And um, and yeah, that's that's the goal of this YouTube channel. That's why I made this YouTube channel. I'm not sure if I explained that well, or if I adequately kind of walked you through my thought process of how I've reached this point. I hope it kind of makes sense, but maybe the next section will help clear things up even more. 
think a big part of the reasoning for the way I feel, how I do feel now about this YouTube channel is because of the weekly upload schedule. Imagine doing something week in and week out, every single day, every minute of the day, reading emails, negotiating contracts, script writing, filming, SEO, thumbnail design, you know, growth, product design, all these things and just thinking about them every minute of every day on a week by week basis for four and a half years. This is whether I'm eating breakfast, commuting on the tube or on the bus, walking around London, hanging out with my friends at the gym, running, you know, sitting here in my room, at all times of the day, just being utterly consumed by this thing that is YouTube. And this is all on top of your nine to five job, or in my case, being a full-time medical student, which comes along with its own, <laughs> a lot of responsibilities, being in the hospital, tons of time spent studying outside of your time in medical school. You know, I, I don't think I need to state the obvious in saying that studying medicine or a medical degree is a really, really tough degree to study. Long story short, it's been a lot. I've been grinding or hustling or whatever the young kids say these days, for a really, really long time. And I think that it's time for me to take a step back. A couple of weeks ago, Kenji, a good friend of mine, a colleague in medical school and also a YouTuber, he sent me an article following a conversation that we had right after we finished our final exams in medical school, when we were sitting in Guy's Bar on campus, just chilling and chatting. I read it and it hit me on such a deep, deep level. And um, I'll leave a link in the description to the full article if you wanna read it for yourself, but let me read out some quotes for you from the article. So the article is called, Are We Too Busy to Enjoy Life? Quote, being busy all the time can give us an illusion of productivity, which may feel reassuring, but isn't there a risk we are too busy to enjoy life? Quote, many people rush from one task to another without ever taking a step back to ask, am I really enjoying any of this? or are these tasks actually making me too busy to enjoy life? Dr. Brene Brown from the University of Houston describes being crazy busy as a numbing strategy we use to avoid facing the truth of our lives. And finally, quote, a long task list overloading our senses can make us believe we are moving in the right direction or at least in a direction. These quotes hit me hard. I feel like I had a first enlightenment when I started doing therapy a couple of months ago and now after this article, I felt like I had another round of enlightenment. Now it's important to say that I truly don't believe I would be where I am today in my academic life, in my personal life, in my social life, and with this online presence here on YouTube, if I hadn't worked as hard as I did and sacrificed as much as I did over the last four and a half years. But these sentences hit me really hard and I feel like I've achieved more than I could have ever dreamed of achieving with this YouTube channel. And I feel like I'm finally in a comfortable position where I can say to myself like, you know what, Nasser? You did it. All that hard work and all that effort, whatever it is you were striving towards, whatever you were hoping to achieve, whatever you were hoping to do, you've done it. You can relax now. Like you can take a step back. It's it's fine. <laughs> you can you can chill. Now a lot of you are probably thinking, Nasser, why would you take a step back from YouTube as soon as you reach a million subscribers? Surely this is the best time for your channel. This is when you should put your foot down on the gas and you should just go, go, go and keep growing. I hear you. And I've I've battled back and forth with this personally by myself, quite a lot. Um, and I think the truth is, it's just, it's finally happened. I've reached the point of burnout. I've made enough videos for enough weeks and I've burned out. I just can't continue this channel in the same way that I have been over the last four and a half years. All right, so what's happening next? Where do we go from here? what's gonna happen to Karma Medic. Well guys, I'm gonna take a break. I'm going to take a break from this YouTube channel, step back and just enjoy other parts of my life. And I'm gonna do two things. The first of which is I'm not gonna have a weekly upload schedule anymore. I'm just gonna upload videos whenever I feel like it, whenever I make them, whenever I feel like it's right, as opposed to sticking to this schedule for no real reason other than I told myself I would stick to the schedule. And the second thing is, I want to take more time making my videos. This weekly upload schedule has really forced me to do things as quickly as I can one week at a time over and over again. And I feel like I've lost a lot of that fun in the creative aspect of making a video in filming it and editing it, etc. And I wanna go back to that. I wanna take time to film those cinematic B-roll shots, to film those hyperlapses, to do multiple angles of the same exact take and then put them together in post. I want to do that. And so whenever I pick up the camera from here on out, I want it to be because I'm really excited about the thing that I'm gonna film. And I wanna be able to take my time without this rush of having that weekly upload schedule. Now, 
for a lot of you watching, I imagine that this isn't what you were hoping for from my 1 million subscriber celebration video. And if you're one of those people and that's what you think, then I think that's okay. You know, all these YouTubers that you watch on this platform, they're all real humans. They're not some sort of superhumans working nonstop to make these videos. They're all real people. They have their own struggles, their own lives, their own thoughts and feelings, their own their own everything, just like you watching the video. And sometimes creators get burned out or there's too much going on in their life and it's just not compatible with making videos for YouTube or on a weekly basis or whatever. Now, I'm not gonna go anywhere. I promise this is not my last YouTube video. I love making YouTube videos and I'm gonna keep on making YouTube videos. I'm just gonna take it a little bit easy. I've already got lots of ideas for content that I wanna film in the future. I've got some great ideas for products, physical products that I want to make, which I think will be very helpful and valuable to all kinds of students, pharmacy, nursing, dentistry, medicine, you know, everyone. And I'm excited to share all of this with the world. I love making content. I love sharing content online. And you know, during this time, if you guys want to keep in touch with me, if you want to stay in contact, I'm still going to be plenty active on the Discord server, you know, with all of you guys, I love chatting to you over there, playing on our Minecraft server or chatting about WWDC or whatever. It's always a good time. Now, if you are looking for videos about study advice, motivation, time management, note taking, you name it, it exists somewhere here on the YouTube channel. I've actually gone back and neatly organized all of my videos into playlists for easy organization and navigation. So if you're looking for any particular video, just go over there, you'll find everything you need. I hope you guys that are watching, if you've made it to the end of this video, I hope that you're not disappointed. I hope you don't feel let down and I hope that you understand where I'm coming from. I debated a lot about making this video to begin with. Should I just make a happy 1 million subscriber celebration video or should I go into this long deep dive about really how I feel, what's been going on, and what it what it's really like to have a YouTube channel behind the scenes whilst being a full-time medical student, etc. And I was struggling with that decision for a long time, but I think, I actually think it's really important and that there's a lot of value in you as the viewer, um, you know, knowing and seeing what it has been like for me over the last four and a half years, giving you some insight into my thoughts and feelings, into the workload that is behind this YouTube channel, the amount of work and effort and people that are involved, and just, yeah, I, th I think it's important that you guys know. I think it's valuable for people to know. You know, this, this video is getting very, very long. I think I should probably wrap it up. I started this YouTube channel not to become internet famous or an influencer or, or whatever. I started this channel because I wanted to have a positive impact. And now having reached a million subscribers, I think I can confidently say to myself that I have had that positive impact and I've achieved what I set out to do. And it's finally time for me to relieve myself of this hectic schedule that I've given myself over the last four and a half years and kind of just enjoy the fruits of my labor for a little bit. I am forever grateful for all of you who have been watching me over the years and I'm so incredibly proud of what we've managed to achieve together. Even if I left YouTube and I never uploaded a video again, I would be so happy and so content with everything that's happened so far. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your support and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.